What's good out there, guys? It's Roll Easy here, back again with another solo money glitch method. Now, this is for all the people who are having trouble with the last video that I posted, as well as the people who actually purchased a terabyte, all right? Or terabyte, I guess is the way that you pronounce it. But yeah, guys, so I'm actually gonna show you I have the terabyte actually purchased. I did it just for this glitch to see if this would work, and it does, all right? So shout out to all the founders. Their links will be down in the description. Now, for those of you who don't know what you need, you're going to need a nightclub, uh, at least one, you know, garage level. Now, you don't need any plates for this. We're going to be duping LG Retro Customs. We're going to be getting a fresh plate every time, so no need for custom plates at all. You want to have a bunch of RH8s in the garage that we're going to be duping in, and either the MOC with the personal vehicle storage or the empty spaces in your CEO garage with the mod shop, all right? You definitely need the mod shop for that, but... Yeah, guys, that is what you need for this glitch. It's the same requirements. The difference is, is the timing, okay? The timing has changed, and I must add that it's not as easy as the previous video, okay? The timing has changed drastically, and you have to be pretty precise with it, but with some practice, you can get good at anything. And let me tell you, I was doing this glitch, and I was just, you know, just, it was, it was terrible, all right? There's not, not even words to describe. I wasn't hitting it for like 10 or 15 minutes, and then I kind of got in a groove, and I was able to listen and time it correctly, and I was able to hit it two times in a row, okay? So without further ado, guys, we're going to go ahead and actually get into this video right here. Now, as you can see, I just wanted to kind of show you guys some proof. This is garage level B5 or basement, you know, 5, and this is where the terabyte is located once you purchase it. I just wanted there to be proof right there, you know, no misconceptions. This is in my garage. All right, so I'm going to show you right now how to actually set up your garage. We're going to be using B3, just like we're using in my last video. So at this point, we should be loading into B3 here shortly, and here we go. So you're gonna want just all you need is one LG Retro Custom or whatever Benny's vehicle you're duping. You don't really need more than one. Now just put just put the one that you're duping in the first slot and in the second slot. Make sure you have an RH8. Okay. So as you can see right here, this is the setup: RH8 in slot two and the car we're duping, the Benny's vehicle, in slot one. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is remember we need a job ready to go. Now a Simeon, Martin, or Gerald job. Now be careful because some of the jobs they send you actually send you up in the clouds you don't want one of those you want one of those contact missions that keeps you in place the menu comes up but it keeps you in place if you're going up to the clouds you're using the wrong job all right just so you know so here we go we're gonna go ahead and actually try to hit this glitch now with a terabyte and everything now before you walk up to the garage door make sure you have your phone open and you're ready to launch that job so walk up to the door launch the job you're gonna see the menu pop up and now you are on the job screen so here is the difference. Get ready to back out and you're going to be able to hear the clicks. I will raise the volume for you guys, but basically you want to just spam up on the D-pad until you hear tick, tick, and then hit X and then tick again and then hit X. So you're spamming up an X. Listen. Okay. So that was actually a fail. I fail it here, but like I said, I will repeat again. Okay. Just so you guys know, and you're going to see a few successes in here. It's just so that you can actually get this, you know, going all right so this is what it is you're spamming up the entire time until you hear tick tick you hit x or a and then you keep spamming after that or you really don't even need to spam you just keep pressing up just keep pressing up you got to be quick but precise so you keep pressing up on the d-pad until you hear two two ticks you hit x and you want to hear one more tick after that and you hit x again okay so you're gonna see it right here we're launching the job i'm gonna back out and listen So right there, I actually hit the glitch. Now, it wasn't perfect. I heard three ticks, or they're like little tones. You know, it's not really a click or a tick, but it's more of a tone. But basically, you heard a few more than usual. I still got on an infinite black loading screen. That's one of the things that can happen. Now, you bring up a recent and decline the alert or Xbox. Join a friend in a different targeting mode, except the first alert, decline the second. Okay, you should be in a free aim session. And look, I hit it. No mini map. But look what happened. I know this was happening to a lot of you. No blue circle. This for some reason happens and I'm not sure what the exact fix for it is, but I'll show you what I did because I was able to hit it anyways. So at this point, all I did was I realized I probably wouldn't be able to do the glitch without the blue circle. So I just hopped into my retro and I'm simply going to drive out. Okay, I'm going to drive out of the garage and just simply drive back in. You have your mini map back, so this does unglitch you, but this is just how to reset. You're not going to be able to do the glitch without the blue circle. No point in sitting in there and, you know, trying different things. So... 
you want to simply just drive one of your cars out and drive back in. I have my mini map, my blue circle back, and I'm going to try again and watch this. I will hit it first try. So remember, open up your phone, walk towards the garage door, and you want to just pretty much go right up against it, and then that's when you want to launch the job. So here we go. I've launched the job, and I'm going to get ready to back out, and here we go. And there you go. That is how you hit it, guys. That is how you hit this glitch. I did it perfect right there. Got on an infinite black loading screen. I'm on PS4, so I'm going to bring up a recent and decline the alert. Xbox, you want to be in a free aim session, join your friend in auto aim. Accept the first alert, decline the second. And once you're off of there, you should have no mini map and you should have the blue circle just like me. Okay, so you saw that, guys. A workaround for all the problems you guys were having. I did it right here in this video. So pick up the retro in slot one and put it in slot two over the RH8. As you can see, they're frozen, but they do change on the vehicle selection menu. That's what you want to see. So right now we have actually merged them technically. We're about to drive out to complete the merge, but get into the retro. Look at the plate 21 JYK. We're going to simply drive out and you will see that plate change to the plate that the RH8 had 81 UJY. All right, 605. This is our brand new duplicate right here. So you see that guys work around for everybody who owns the terabyte. All right, very, it's okay. So it's not difficult, but it's also not, you know, it's not the easiest thing ever, but trust me, you guys can get it going. All right. So at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and save it in the MOC. I did not make any empty spots in my CEO garage, so I won't be showing that in this video, but I'm just going to drive this over to my MOC and hit right D pad to actually save it in there. So here we go. Hit right D pad. Doesn't matter if you have anything stored in there. Just make sure you have the personal vehicle storage. Okay. Weapon and vehicle workshop will not work. I repeat, it will not work. All right, so I've saved one dupe just like that. And get this, I'm actually gonna show you hitting it back to back, all right? So, cause I wanted to prove that you can get good at this. Although it's hard at first, you can get really good at it if you just listen very carefully. I recommend putting the volume up on your TV. Uh, if you're in a party with people, mute them and stuff like that so that you can really hear the little tones, all right? Remember, it's, it's tick, uh, I'm gonna say tick, but it's really a tone, but it's tick, tick, you hit X or A, and then you keep spamming up on the D-pad until you hear another little tick or tone, and then you hit X again. So it's tick, tick, X, tick, X. That's how it works, okay? So I'm gonna return this vehicle, go back into B3, and I'm gonna hit this back to back, first try right here, okay? So as you can see, I need to set up my garage first. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually just pick up, uh, I was looking at what I could dupe over. I'm just gonna grab one of these Deluxos. I won't actually save this vehicle, but I'm just gonna grab the Deluxo right here and put it in slot two. And I'll just merge over that just for the video purposes. So as you can see right here, slot two Deluxo, slot one Retro. All right, I'm gonna go over to the garage door and open up my phone before I get there and hover over the invitation to the job. I'm gonna use a Martin job and walk up to the door, open up the job, launch it, and you wanna go ahead and back out and here we go. That was perfect. Look at that, no black screen, no nothing. I hit that tick, tick, X, tick, X. If you hit it perfectly, that's what it'll look like. You don't even hit a black screen. You get the blue circle. You get everything you need. And look at that. I can do the glitch once again really easily. Pick up the car in one and put it in two. Just like that. They change on the vehicle selection menu, but they are frozen, uh, as you can see, in the garage. And then grab the car in slot one, which would be the retro or whatever Benny's vehicle you're duping. Make sure it's a Benny's vehicle. Remember this plate, LXH. All right, remember that. Now I'm going to drive this out and you will see the plate change. There we go. 21. I can't really read that, to be honest with you. UWH. Is that what that is? And 666. Great. All right. Well, I won't be saving this car anyways, so I'll just keep it as a deluxo. But yeah, guys, you get the deal. And the MOC, I have a, you know, I have like a two minute cooldown on it. So if I were you guys, I would definitely combine the MOC saving method as well as the CEO garage. Make sure you have a mod shop. I had a friend that was, you know, his cars were actually reverting back to whatever he duped them over. And it was because he wasn't going into the mod shop and modifying something on the vehicle. Okay. So make sure you guys take care of that. Uh, so that you can save all your cars but this is still working all right i've restarted my ps4 a few times just make sure on xbox make sure you guys join a free aim session i don't know if i said that in the beginning of the video but most people play in assisted aim so if you do get stuck on those infinite black loading screens which with this new method it's very possible that it will happen more than once uh, if that does keep happening to you then i recommend definitely being in a free aim session so that you can go ahead and you can join other people that are in assisted aim, which the majority of your friends should be in assisted aim. All right. 
But uh, yeah, guys, so that's going to be it for me. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making this one. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out. Drop it, drop it,